Hello and welcome to cookingflavors.com. For today's video, let's look at breaking, grating, and storing a coconut. I'll also show you how to take pieces out from the coconut. Now, I get coconuts without the hair, the fiber structure, or the kudumi. If you have that, if you get coconuts with the kudumi, first you have to take that out with a knife or any, any other uh, equipment that you have. Take it out completely. And then we'll slowly take out these uh, fibers or these uh, hair like structures from the uh, coconut. It doesn't have to be very smooth here and there. Uh, just uh, take it away nice and clean. See, I've taken it away completely. And now I'm wetting my coconut a little. When you wet the coconut, it will easily crack and it will be easy for you to break the coconut. I also have a tumbler or a, a cup ready in case you want to uh, take this coconut water. Some people don't prefer drinking this water. If you don't want it, you can discard it. Now, there are a lot of equipments to break your coconuts. Now, see this uh, coconut, this side is used to break the coconut and the other side is used to take out the pieces. The sharper side is used to take out the pieces of the uh, coconut. There are a lot of uh, this vetakati or arava, even that you can use to uh, break the coconut. What, whichever is comfortable for you, you can use. Now, I am using this rod. This is a rod for my motor and pestle. Uh, I find it easier because it's a little thinner than the other one. Uh, so, it's easy to break my coconut with this. Now, what we'll do is I'm holding the coconut on my left hand and I'm uh, knocking it uh, uh, on with my right hand. As I'm knocking the coconut, uh, you can see I'm rotating it slowly with my uh, left hand. When there's too much of water inside the coconut, it'll take a little longer for you to break it. Now, see, I've cracked it once, just once more. Uh, we'll have to uh, crack it. And you don't have, you shouldn't break it completely if you want the water. Just two, three cracks. And from the crack, the water will come. Now, I'll just give it one more tap. Uh, so that it, it's easier for me to uh, break open the coconut. As I told you, if there's too much of water, the pressure inside uh, the coconut, it'll take a little longer for you to break the coconut. Now see, I've opened the coconut. Now you may not all the time get perfect halves, but at times you do get perfect halves also. Now we look at taking the pieces out from the coconut. Now see uh, this one, this rod which I showed you earlier, the sharper side is used to uh, take out the pieces from the coconut. I'm just uh, sliding across it's nice and sharp so you slide it from inside to out that is from the bottom to the top and uh, slide out thinner pieces if it you make it too thin it's going to be a little difficult for, for it to uh, slide slide in uh, just thin piece thin slides you make see i'm showing you this is the sharper side and slowly just press inside and slide it out so if you find this difficult you can also use a knife your regular uh, vegetable chopping knife and there are a lot of ways in which you can take coconut from with use of the knife see just small pieces like that make sure uh, be careful if you're a beginner uh, be careful while using knives and other such instruments see that's one method the second method is see this you can just see just make small pieces like that slowly the other one is you slide it from outside to in the other equipment i said inside out this is outside and that is from the top to the bottom so these are the methods in which you can take out the pieces now you see uh, this has when you take out pieces you have this brown uh, skin on the coconut uh, so th there are two ways in which you can grate the coconut one you can use the just make pieces out of it put it in the mixer jar and uh, uh, grind it you'll get nice gratings but if you grind it with the skin your gratings will be brown in color if you don't want the brown uh, gratings just take out the skin like this and uh, without the skin you'll get the white gratings that is a uh, easier uh, way of uh, getting your gratings if at all you find taking the pieces out a little difficult then you can use a grater there are a lot of graters in the market today uh, earlier in earlier see this has got a vacuum base so you put a little bit of water and uh, you uh, lock the knob it'll uh, sit uh, intact on the counter it will not move when you grate so that's a safer option uh, in earlier days the arwa mane the front part of the arwa mane used to have a grating uh, a kind of a head and that they used to grate coconut with that now see i'm holding the coconut like a cup don't invert it completely just cup and uh, grate it uh, evenly this is an easier uh, way of don't grate till you know till you uh, hit the shell because if you're going to hit the shell you're going to get those brown gratings just mail otama now there's, a, there's another uh, hand uh, grater 
uh, hand uh, handheld equipment just is like a small knife instantly immediately odanadia if you want some gratings you can just uh, grate it out like this so these are the different equipments graters uh, uh, and other things are used to uh, break the coconut grate the coconut take out pieces from the coconut see these gratings will look nice and vertical long shreds it will be it will look nice for porial kind of uh, uh, dishes never keep your coconut in the shell for a very long time it will become uh, very hard and it will be uh, it will uh, get spoiled very easily so always grate it or take pieces out and store it in a nice airtight container so these are the i usually uh, grate my entire coconut these pieces are just to show you how to take out the pieces and if you are keeping it for more than a week like 10 days put it in the uh, freezer section otherwise if you finish it within 5 days or a week you can put it in the uh, uh, refrigerator section and don't use your hand while taking this coconut always use a spoon uh, inside this uh, container hope this video was useful and helpful especially for beginners do try it out and give us your feedback if you are new to our channel subscribe to our channel and if you like this video share it with your friends and give us a thumbs up till we see you again with another new and interesting video thank you and happy cooking